got him. It's a big one. It's a big one. <laughs> What a difference a day makes. 24 hours later and check out the surf now. Look at that, man. Two or three sets, maybe four sets, about a foot, maybe a half a foot. I'm on Padre Island National Seashore, probably about a six or seven mile marker. I stopped here because for some reason it just looks like a good spot to put the RC boat in and get some bait out there. The water clarity is probably about a four and man, you could see green water way, 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 way out there. So I don't know how it's gonna be today. Hopefully we can catch some whiting. But I did talk to some fishermen just a couple miles up. They caught some big drum and some pompano, believe it or not, some small pompano. So hopefully we can uh, get some bait out there and catch some fish today. A uh, huge difference from yesterday. Uh, let's check the water temperature. Yeah, the water's still cold, guys. All right, let's get some poles in the water. On the way down here, it's a lot of, it was pretty bumpy and there's a lot of trees up on the beach every freaking where as you could see. Other than that guys, I didn't have to put it in four wheel drive till probably about the five, a little bit past the five. Hopefully we can bring in some whiting or maybe some small pumps or bigger pumps. I don't know, but I'm gonna use the RC boat to take the line out there. I was complaining on a video about not being able to use the RC boat and 24 hours later, look, I can use it today. Uh, I had a problem with this rod on the way down here. Hopefully it still works. It fell off. This whole thing came off right here as I was going down the beach and fell and went underneath the Jeep. I didn't run over it, so I got lucky. But if that could, would have happened on the road going 60 miles per hour, I'd been in trouble. So we're going to make sure this still works here. Can't believe it came loose right here. It just undid itself going down the road. All right, y'all, we're gonna use the, uh, the RC Fishing Surfer to take this line out. And then we have two other lines we're gonna cast one in, in the first gut, one in the second. So we're gonna be using uh, Salty's Pompano Rigs. I don't really care for these style. They're real long. Uh, I don't really care for them. I prefer their regular ones. And we're gonna be using shrimp and uh, Fish Bites shrimp flavor with a four ounce weight. Over here, we got a single drop with some beads and mullet and a four ounce weight. Those are new, I just got them off Amazon. I'm out of uh, Stanfield Tackle Pompano rigs, so we're using some Amazon ones. We got this loaded with sand flea fish bites and a shrimp and a four ounce weight that I got off of uh, Amazon. So my plan is to get one of them, probably put this pole in the first gut, this pole in the second gut, and that one we'll take out with the RC boat. I think I could get it out there. Um, maybe just past the second gut and see what happens. All right, let's get these poles in the water and see if we can catch anything.
Man. That last wave is what's getting me, guys. Otherwise, I mean, it rolled over how many times. Looks like it messed up the uh, GoPro. <laughs> Look at that. All right. At least I didn't lose it, lose it, but it messed up the GoPro. Oh, man, and the back come open. So that was a pretty good ways out. That was just past the second gut. So it, it kind of worked, which I'm surprised. Oh, man. I'm already getting a bite on this one or what? This is the one I just dropped out, guys. Now nah, that was just the slack going out. There we go. We'll leave that one out there and see what happens. And that's what I don't like. I've got the power turned off of it and this thing will all of a sudden start up. It start running on its own. All right, no bites yet. That was some kind of issues with this rod here. I mean this pole. I don't know if there's something on here or not. It feels kind of, nah, it might just be the weight dragging on the bottom. I don't know. Surprise there's not any hard heads out here. Uh-oh, looks like it's a little bit of seaweed. Well, he ain't gonna catch any fish like that. So that's the kind of seaweed that's out here right now. Looks like I might be getting a bite on that one there. It's seaweed too. Right here, this is the stuff I don't like. It's a pain to get off rated line. First fish of the day, guys, it ain't much, but it tells me that there's whiting. Usually where there's one, guys, there's a school of them. Looks like I'm only gonna catch one fish today, guys. That'll give some of you a reason to pick on me. Getting all kinds of bites on this pole all of a sudden, but I just, I'm, I'm just not getting them. And man, these horse flies out here, they're freaking, they hurt. When it's real light winds, you get the dang horse flies. So if you come out here <laughs> and you're in light winds, expect to be bitten by horse flies, man. I know this ain't much of a video, guys, but hopefully, you know, if, if you're from out of town, you see what I use in my videos, and I hope that helps you catch more fish. Um, and like I said, man, if you just out here catch a whiting all day, whiting are really good to eat. They really are. 
And uh, hey, that's a good day to me, man. Anytime you're catching fish, that's a good day. And if you have kids, small kids, they'll love it. They really will. But today is a slow day. I'm gonna go out again tomorrow. I'm gonna go out every day, guys, until I catch fish. So maybe we'll pull in another whiting. I don't know, let's see. Got him. Got him, guys, got him. It's a big one. It's a big one. <laughs> oh, crap. No. I messed up my line. At least he's hooked. Acting like a fool when I mess up my line. I don't know what's going on here. Hopefully I still got him. <laughs> it's probably a whiting. I really feel embarrassed about this. Look at this little munchkin. I mean, come on, man. Is, is God just not like me? I mean, that's not even a taco, guys. Oh, well. Usually you don't have to set the hook like that, but I got tired of messing with them. Every time they bent my pole and I'd go after them, they'd get off. So I said, this one ain't getting off. But that's hilarious. That's small, guys. He's a big one, ain't he? One more whiting, guys, right here. Bigger than the other ones. Slow, slow, slow bite. I could probably sit here and catch a few more whiting, but it's just not worth it. I'd rather go home and get you guys a little short video and then go out again tomorrow. I appreciate each and every one of you for watching my videos. So if you can kindly go over and check my Patreon page out, I do a lot of work on that Patreon page for you guys and I'm gonna continue doing so. Also, there's the Pen Battle 3 contest, the ratchet strap giveaway, and stuff like that. So run over to patreon.com Texas Beach Bomb and take a look at it and uh, see if it's something you're interested in. If not, then uh, just click the like or dislike button for me and we will see you guys next video. Peace, guys.